Can you explain in layman's terms the role the U.S. government plays in medical research and how federal funding is critical to that research? Ever since World War II, uh, following a re very important report by Van Ivar Bush, the model was put forward that for various areas of science, and certainly including medical research, the greatest way for the United States to succeed is to create what we now call an ecosystem between basic science funding, which isn't necessarily attached to a particular disease or a particular product, but is sort of fundamental discoveries that are going to undergird everything. And that's something the government can support by basically putting grants out there that universities can compete for, because that's where a lot of the scientific talent is, is in the universities. But then we count on as those discoveries happen, something looks like it might be heading towards a new treatment or a prevention for cancer or diabetes. Then companies get engaged because they can see there's a pathway there to a product and a profit. And that's the way the whole system has worked over the course now of many decades. And it has turned the United States into the unquestioned leader in biomedical research and productivity and something that the rest of the world has greatly admired and oftentimes tried to emulate or even copy. And it is, of course, also the source of a lot of jobs for people in universities who do this research. The federal government support for biomedical research primarily goes through the National Institutes of Health, which is not a household word, maybe, but maybe it should be. Uh, with its current budget of about $48 billion a year, 85% of that goes out to those universities. And how do they get the money? Investigators working in those places come up with a really compelling idea. And they send that to NIH with a proposal about what they need to get the work done. And that gets reviewed by a rigorous panel of peers who know the science really well. And because the funds are limited, only about one out of five of those grants actually gets funded. Then they get the funds and they are given three to five years to go and do something amazing. And that has been incredibly successful up until now, but maybe we're gonna talk about this. It's all under a lot of stress right now.